Hi there, I'm Amy from Cakes With Faces. Now Gachapon are the capsule toys you get from little vending machines in Japan. They usually come in series of about six or eight figures and the beauty is you don't know which one you're gonna get. And they're only about two or 300 yen. Today I've got a roundup for you of cute, funny and strange Gachapon from Japan. They're always coming out with new series and it never ceases to amaze me with what they come up with. Lots of Gachapon are related to anime, like little figures or keychains or button badges, but I think the most interesting ones are the just crazy and random series that make you think, why on earth did they even make that? Like this one, toilets that are also stag beetles. I guess they make them so you think, that's so strange, I've got to have it. And it definitely works. If you want to go gachapon hunting when you're in Japan, you can find them in all the major city centre areas, especially in and around arcades or game centres. So you can find lots in Akihabara, in Shinjuku, Ikebukuro, Shibuya, and lots of other places too. Often they'll be up front, just on the street, or sometimes you'll go into a shop and there'll be a whole bank of them, like in Yodabashi Camera. There's also loads in Akihabara Station, or in Character Street in Tokyo Station. Anywhere you find lots of cute shops or anime stuff, they'll definitely be gachapon. And they're introducing them at the airport as a way to use up your spare coins, which I think is a great idea. What better use for your last few yen than a mini loaf of bread? I actually found these in Sapporo and of course I had to get one. I've done a few of these Gachapon Roundup videos so far and they're actually some of my favourite videos to make because there's just so many great Gachapon that I want to share with you. There's just too many for one video so there'll probably be another one coming up at some point. So let's get started onto the Gachapon and tell me in the comments which you would choose if you could only pick one. Extension cable winders. These do actually have a practical use. You can wind up your phone charging cable and they come in different colours. Miniature coin lockers. These look just like the lockers you find in Japan, often around stations so you can store stuff in them. So if you buy too many gachapon, you can put them all in a locker. The beauty of these is if you get too many duplicates, you can just stack them up and make a whole bank of lockers. Next, port -a-loos. Now sometimes these miniature items are so you can make scenes with your anime figures and I'm sure your figures would appreciate it if you provide washroom facilities. There's western toilets and Japanese style squat toilets. And also for your anime figures, I guess, miniature tape barriers so you can form an orderly queue. Maybe a queue for the port -a -loos. These may look like senbei rice crackers, but on the back they have a little zip and they're actually coin purses. How practical. Or how about these pouches that look like icons on your PC? You can literally put your stuff in the recycling bin. Or purses that are shaped like toadstools and mushrooms. I'm not sure about these ones. Some of them look a bit weird. Next. Pigeon cars. It says they're pullback cars, so I guess they're that type of toy car that you pull back and then they zoom forwards on their own. There's a variety of pigeon types to choose from, different species. And then you've got this one that's a police car. Police pigeon. And I'm not sure what's going on with this one that's painted plain gold. Hermit crabs. Some of them are living inside shells like normal hermit crabs, but these guys have decided to move house into an old tin can traffic cones and an actual house. I don't know if they're related, but there's also this series where hermit crabs have decided to branch out and move into different types of properties. There's different types of houses and on the leaflet you even get a little floor plan. There's a snow crab in an igloo and even one in a Japanese castle. Very grand, that's definitely a step up from an old tin can. Traffic lights that actually light up and flash. I don't know why, but I kind of want these ones. There's definitely something appealing about Gachapon that light up, so you might want these ones as well. Mini lasers that you can wear on your fingers. And this one even changes colour. That would definitely be the one you try and get. This next Gachapon would make an excellent souvenir of your trip to Japan. They're mini Tori gates like you get at a Japanese shrine. Aren't they cute? You could collect loads of them and make your own mini version of Fushimi Inari Shrine in Kyoto. 
Or how about this as a souvenir? We all know Japanese toilets are very high tech with all the different buttons. So you could commemorate your time in Japan and the time you spent on the toilet in Japan with toilet button gachapon. And they're also water guns that squirt water. Sometimes I hear from people who go to Japan on their honeymoon, but if you're going for a different sort of romantic trip and you're planning to propose to your significant other, how about getting engaged with a sushi ring? There's salmon, salmon roe. For vegetarians, there's seaweed and a pickled plum, which looks kind of weird. How could they say no? And they come in an onigiri rice ball shaped ring box. I kind of want that too. Before I carry on, if you enjoy my videos, you can support me by taking a look at my designs on cakeswithfaces.co.uk. With Christmas shopping coming up, there's lots of things that make good presents. And there's worldwide shipping to any country at very reasonable rates. Thank you for your support. Now, back to the gachapon. What is with this cat? He's actually an extending cat. Both ends are pencil toppers, so you can make a really long cat. And that's about as much sense as that one makes. The next one's kind of practical, maybe. Mini sponge scourers shaped like cats to make the washing up more kawaii. Finally, on the cat theme, we've got cats at the gym on the balancing bar. Some of them are more motivated than others. This one's just taking a nap. Next, muscly animals. You wouldn't want to cross this squirrel in the park. This made no sense to me, but luckily I found a blog post that explained the whole thing. It started with a photo of a Shiba Inu that's chasing its tail, but in the photo, it looks like he has a really strong muscular arm. They've taken this idea and run with it and made it into a whole concept to include a curled up fox that looks like he's got his arms crossed. And I don't know where the shark came from, but you wouldn't want to mess with it. This next one's quite a bizarre concept as well. Animals supporting Japan. Now Japan's all about regional things. And I think what's going on here is animals that have something to do with particular areas or regions. They're supporting the region. And in this case, they're literally holding up pieces of land. So we've got bears for Hokkaido. There's foxes like you get at an Inari shrine for the area with Kyoto. And for Okinawa, there's Shisa, which is sort of lion dragons, which are just like the statues people have on their rooftops to ward off evil spirits. So I hope you enjoyed this look into the world of Gachapon. I just can't believe that some of these exist. Tell me in the comments which were your favorites. And I'll be back next week with more Japan travel videos. I'll see you on Thursday. Bye.